Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to today's video. I am so super extra especially excited to be sitting down and filming this particular video because I have only done something like this one other time in the history so far on my channel. I have in front of me the entire Kylie Cosmetics Valentine's Day 2019 collection in front of me. The only other time that I reviewed an entire collection was when Kathleen Lights dropped her Zodiac collection with ColourPop. I obviously buy 99% of the stuff I review on my channel myself. So in order for me to invest in an entire collection, it really has to catch my eye. What really drew me into this collection was because I recently reviewed her brand new formula. She reformulated her bronzers, blushes, and highlighters. So I saw there was a blush in here and I loved the blush that I picked up from her. There's also the glitter eyes, which I haven't tried. I think this is something similar to like the Stila liquid metal or liquid glitter eyeshadow things. I've never even tried those. But there's also three full lip kits and the colors in this collection are absolutely stunning. I can genuinely see myself wearing all three, and I thought that the lip kits were unique because they came with the matte liquid lipstick, the liner, and a high gloss. And you guys, let me tell you, I have tried her high glosses and they're absolutely fantastic. There's also an eyeshadow palette in here as well. If you guys have watched my channel for any length of time, I have um, said that I really, really, really like Kylie's shadow formula. So I have all the basics on right now. I have a full base. Obviously I have excluded everything that's in this kit. So we are going to try all of this stuff on. We'll do some swatches and then obviously we'll do a little tutorial with the shadow. Then I will give you guys my final thoughts and there is also a surprise at the end of this video for you guys. With all of that being said, no more chit chat. You guys get the drift. Let's go ahead, jump into the video and let's put on some makeup. All right, so obviously I will zoom you guys in. I just want to do a quick overview of what is in the box. So like I said, here is the packaging. So pretty much everything has this really adorable baby pink packaging. It's got the Kylie in red, red accents, and then there's like little bras or bralettes on the outside, which I think is super adorable. Some are glittery, some are metallic, really, really cute. I just think that this collection feels really feminine and really beautiful and very Valentine's Day. So this is the blush. This is in the shade Crush. So obviously this is a brand new shade. I really, really love it. Her compacts are so cute. They're the same baby pink and you've got a mirror on the inside, which is fantastic. So that's the blush. Then we have the eyeshadow palette. So typical packaging for her shadow palettes. I really do like this style of palette, um, this shape. They have amazing mirrors inside and this is so heavy. Um, I really like when cosmetics feel heavy. I don't know why in my brain it equates to luxury. So I don't know if you guys feel the same, but that's just me. And then obviously on the back, you've got ingredients and the shadow names. Let's just take a look at it quick. Again, you're gonna have like kind of like this matte packaging with the glossy Kylie, Kylie Jenner on it. Again, on the back, shade names and some more information open it up and you've got this fantastic mirror on the inside and then obviously all the shades, the protector. So I was really drawn to these shades. I think that this is a beautiful collection of shadows. Not only does this obviously read as very Valentine's Day, very romantic, but you've got some awesome pops of color right here. This red, the hot pink, the shimmer shades here. So this whole entire row of shimmers, these are all mattes. And I think that this could really translate into spring as well. There's just something very romantic about this color selection. And I am so excited to dive in. I could, looks like I could do some neutrals, again, some brighter colors, some sultry shades in here. So there is the palette. Then we have the glitter eyes. So this is one that I have not tried this and I am super excited. When I saw the shade, I thought it looked absolutely stunning. So this is kind of in like a lipstick or lip gloss packaging. As you can see, that color is gorgeous. So I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch this one right off the bat since it's right here. So there's what it looks like. That is so pretty. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but it does have like micro reflexes, like silver, pink, red, like glitters in it. Gorgeous. I'm so excited to try this. So obviously I will definitely be incorporating that into the look that we come up with. And then we have the three lip kits here. So we have the love set, the soulmate set, and then we also have the forever set. So like I said, in each one of these, there's going to be a gloss, a high gloss specifically, a lip liner, as well as a liquid lipstick. So obviously you can see that this packaging is very unique to this collection. So everything is baby pink. The high glasses always look like this, but as you can see, like the lipstick and the liner are in this like pink packaging. 
and the lips. This is just adorable. If you look at the back of the sleeve that comes on this, it says to and from. So this is like a Valentine. I think that this packaging is so, so cute. I love the glittery Kylie on the front here. And obviously it says the love set. So let's just start with this one. We'll take a look at the lipstick that is in here. So this one is in the shade Wish You Were Here. These are all matte. So there's kind of what that one looks like here. Now I've already decided that this is the one that I'm going to put on my lips. So obviously when we get to that part and we do the lip swatches and all that, we'll do more into it. So then here is the lip liner that goes with it. Again, you've got this pink packaging. And then you have, I had a hell of a time trying to get these out of here for some reason. There we go. And then you have the gloss and this is in the shade Sweet. So this one is like a baby pink gloss and it's got tons of micro reflex of like silvery pink, gold glitters in here. Absolutely adorable. This set, after looking at all of them, I'm just gonna come out and say it right away. This is my favorite. So I already know that this is the one that I'm going to use, like I said. Next, we have the Soulmate set. So this one is gonna have the red shade in it. I love a good red lipstick. This one looks so like a deep, true red. So there's what it looks like here. And then this is in the shade Call Me. And then obviously the lip liner, which is right here. You guys just saw it in the other one. So it's like that pink. And then this gloss is called Blow Me Away. Now this one looks like it's a little bit, this one looks very glitter based, I would say. If you take a look here, there is a ton of different color glitters. This would definitely pop on top of the red. Really, really cute. A little bit more of a frosted look. So again, I just think that these curated lip collections are really adorable. And then lastly, we have the Forever set. Let's take a look at this one. This one has the shade Built to Last in it. So this one's gonna be more of like your typical nude shade. Really, really gorgeous, good for everyday looks. And then the gloss on the inside is in the shade Story of Us. How cute is that? So this one's gonna be more of like, looks like it has like a duochrome. So it's kind of got like a pinky rose gold, more of a gold base. This is almost like her 23 gloss, I would say maybe, but a little bit more of like micro fine glitters in here and a little bit more on the more champagne pinky side. So let's go ahead and do some swatches here of that shadow palette. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my best. You guys, if you've watched my videos before, the girl struggles with swatches. I don't know why, it's just one of those things. So I'm gonna start with the top row, kind of work my way across. I'll tell you guys the shade name. So obviously all of these are gonna be shimmers. So the first one we have here is Heartthrob. I always like to show you guys how it looks on my finger. We're gonna start right here. So that is the shade Heartthrob. Now I have watched other reviews of this palette. I'm gonna be honest with you. After kind of taking a look at these and watching the reviews, I have come to the consensus that a lot of these shimmers are gonna be more like toppers. This is the shade Blush right here. Then we have the shade Be Mine. So this is like a duochrome. I have so many shadows that look like this. I don't know what it is. I feel like this is like a super popular shade. It's almost like you've got like this pinky and it kind of like is a duochrome into a gold. This one's a little bit softer. Then we have the shade Romance. This one's really gorgeous. This almost looks very similar to me to this up here. This is the Glitter Eyes. Then we have the shade Kinda Classy. And more of like a duochrome gold. And then last on the top row, we have the shade Love Bug. Oh, you know what? This is the shade I was talking about that I have lots of too. It's like that maroon-ish, very like, yeah, like a maroon color and then it kind of has like a gold flip. I have several palettes with that type of shade in it as well. All right, so moving on, let's move on to the mattes. This is the shade Princess. These are buttery smooth. Then we have the shade Pink Problems. This is a beautiful matte. I love mauve shadows, mauve pink, but on the warm side, oh, gorgeous. So there's that. Then we have the shade February. This is such a pretty, like soft, delicate pink. I absolutely love it. Look at that. You guys, these mattes are absolutely incredible. Then we have Candy Heart, which is like this hot pink. Holy smokes, that is pink. I already know this is probably gonna stain the lids. Pink shadows, if you guys didn't already know, this is kind of like a controversy in palettes. Is like these hot pink colors, everyone's like, no one says it'll stain my lid. Why didn't they tell us that? I'm here to tell you, chances are that shade is going to stain your lid. Public service announcement. 
Then we have this really red shade called First Date. It's like a red, almost magenta, but definitely reading more red, I would say. Boom, swatches gorgeously. And then last but not least, we have the shade Admirer. So this is gonna be more like a deep brown. See, as you guys can see, I do have a makeup wipe right in front of me. Those reds and pinks will stain. So this shade looks a little bit chalkier, but as you can see, it blends right out with my finger. So there are all the swatches. I have to be honest with you guys. I think that this color story is absolutely gorgeous. I think it's unique. I actually really like the idea of this top row being more like a pressed glitter, more maybe not even like a pressed glitter, but more of like a topper. I think that's really cool, especially since there's already this in the collection. For me, that's just the way that I look at it. All right, and let's go ahead and swatch the blush shade. So this is in the shade Crush. Again, really smooth focus here. And then we will just swatch it right here really gorgeous. So now that we have gotten these swatches out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in. Let's create an eye look together. I'm going to be priming my lids with the Luscious Angel Eyes Eyeshadow Primer Base. Let's go ahead, zoom in, and let's create a look because I cannot wait to dive into these shadows. All right, so now that I have you guys zoomed in as close as my camera will, I hope that you guys can really see. I really want to give you guys a good idea of how these shadows work. I have my favorite shadow brushes in front of me right here. I will tell you which brush each one is as we're going. So let's go ahead and start off with some primer. Please excuse this hand because I've left the swatches on it. So I'm make sure my concealer is blended out. Now before I use this primer, I don't put any kind of powder on my eyes. I don't usually set this primer down. It's pretty opaque and it does cancel out some color. Now that we are sufficiently primed, I need to figure out what look I'm going to do with this palette. So let's take a look together here. If I am reading your guys' minds correctly, I'm sure you wanna see me create something with the pinks and the reds here. So I'm gonna start off with kind of a base shade. I'm gonna take my Morphe M433. This is one of my favorite brushes. And we are gonna dip into this shade right here, Princess. Now with Kylie Shadows, you don't really have to tap your brush. I just tap my brush way too hard. You almost kind of got to blow it off because if you tap too hard, they will fall off the brush. I don't know why that is. But don't let that fool you because generally the formula is really good. I'm just going to go ahead and work that into the crease just to lay down a transition shade. And I'm just using Window Washer Motions. I'm fluffing this out just a little bit. I do have pretty hooded eyes. And so I like to kind of brush the color almost up to the brow. So I will show you there is quite a bit of kick up here. It's not terrible. It's not like enough for me to say that it's bad. Like some of the ABH palettes, those lose so much pigment and I feel like it's a waste. So for a transition shade, this built up beautifully. I had no problems blending. I always say this and I catch myself when I go through and I'm editing my video. I literally always say, oh, I could wear this just on its own. And I definitely could for like no makeup makeup days. I feel like this just carved out the eye really nicely and it just looks really pretty and it's like just blends beautifully. So, so far that shade Princess is blending out just like my other Kylie palettes. All right, let's go ahead and get into some color. I'm gonna take my BH Cosmetics number no. seven brush. This came from like their pink marble collection. And I'm gonna start off with this shade here, February. Pick up some of that. I'm gonna keep this one a little bit tighter in the crease. So that's why I'm kind of using this smaller fluffy brush. Brushes like this will work wonders if you have hooded eyes. Smaller detail brushes are your best friend. That is such a pretty color. Wow. Going one more time. I kind of want to intensify this. I blend it out gorgeously. I really like that. Part of me wants to kind of stop here, deepen up the outer corner a bit and dip into that um, glitter eyes. But I do want to just play with a little bit more. I want to intensify this just a bit. I'm going to take an even smaller crease brush. This is the E47 from Sigma. This is the shader crease. And I'm going to dip gently into Candy Heart. That's a pigment. And I want to kind of gently just put this right into the crease. I just want to intensify that pink even more. It looks like it's glowing. I'm really into pinks right now. Pinks and reds. I think pinks and reds for shadow are just so unique and different. 
and I feel like anybody can pull them off. They're just like my favorite shade. That's why I like the ColourPop, or yeah, the ColourPop mystery bag that I got. Everyone was like, oh, it's a little too pink for me. And I was like, score. I love pinks and purples and reds right now. I don't wanna fluff this side out just a little bit. I'm kind of angling my brush because I do wanna go above my natural crease just a bit because I have very small shaped eyes and yeah. So I'm not winging this out or anything. I'm just sticking to the very natural shape of my eye. So I do wanna blend that out just a bit. I don't want any harsh lines. So I'm gonna fluff it out just a little. That is so pretty, so pretty. Okay, so now what do I wanna do in the outer corner? I think I'm gonna keep it bright. I'm gonna go into Candy Heart again, this bright shade, sticking with the same E47 brush. And I'm gonna put that on the outer corner. So again, just kind of angling my brush and I'm packing this pigment on quite a bit in the outer corner because this is kind of where I'm creating my shadow. I might layer some of that fuchsia on top just to kind of even amplify it up just a bit. I do want to create a little bit more dimension. Again, I'm just kind of sticking with that natural shape of my eye. I'm not fluffing it out again or crazy or creating any kind of cat eye or anything like that. With my eye shape, this is what works best. Not that I don't like to do those types of looks, but I, I stick with what I I know for me personally, looks flattering on my eye shape. Okay, I'm being stained for you guys because I know this is gonna stain my eyes like freaking crazy. <laughs> okay, so again, sticking with that same Sigma E47 brush, let's dip into, what is this one? First date, I'm gonna layer that just on top of this on the outer corners, just to kind of, again, amplify that shade. So that actually layers really beautifully together. I really like that. The thing I love about this brush is it's so easy to keep product where you wanna keep it. So you can see it's not like fluffing it out like crazy. I'm not dragging it down. This is just a really nice brush. Can I just show you guys the shape of it here? And just contours to the eye, especially if you have a similar shaped eye to me. I don't know if you guys know this, but I do have a code with Sigma. I don't use a ton of their brushes, but they did reach out to me a while back. So if you're ever interested in any of the brushes of theirs that I am using, and if you wanna help your girl out, you can use the link down below. Otherwise, definitely check it out though, because I know that Sigma runs a lot of sales. They only gave me a 10% off code and sometimes they do way better sales. So before you even use my code, look on their website first and see if they have anything that's better or hell, even try to use both codes, codes together. And maybe you'll save even more, but just figured I would throw that out there for you guys. So now we need to decide if I'm just gonna go right in with the glitter eyes or if I'm gonna go ahead and try to layer some of these other shadows with it. So you know what, I think I'm just gonna go in with this because I have to incorporate it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and paint that on because I feel like this is gonna look absolutely stunning. Okay. Blend that out with my finger. I'm really not very well versed in how to use these, so you guys bear with me because I'm not used to this style of shadow, but that looks so pretty together. Maybe I'll use a brush. I'm gonna take my Morphe JH42. This is from the Jacqueline collaboration with Morphe. I'm just gonna pick up some of the glitter eyes right there on my brush. I do own some of those ColourPop, or what were those called? Those like Stellar, I can't remember. So this is kind of cool because it kind of like creates a cut crease. I'm just gonna blend that in and blend it out a bit. So we'll fix this. So I'll take a little bit more shadow and just kind of make this look a little bit more seamless. The reason why I sometimes stay away from liquid shadows is because I feel like they break up and crack on the lid. And I know that less is more. And sometimes using a brush to kind of paint this on works better than just going right in with the paddle applicator and just blending it out this way. So I did bring this quite a bit into my crease. And again, I'm just gonna try to soften these edges. There we go. Just using the same brush. That is really pretty. Now I wanna know what I'm gonna put on my inner corner. So I'm gonna clean off this brush here. This is my favorite brush to use for inner corner. I'm gonna take this shade here heartthrob and I'm gonna use this as my inner corner highlight. I'm gonna try it dry first. However, I feel like I may have to get this wet, but we're gonna try it dry first. So hit that in the inner corners. So it definitely does give you a glow, but let's go ahead and amp it up. Take some of this Milani setting spray that I have in front of me, which I have been loving. The mister on this is unreal. Oh yeah, definitely kicked it up a notch. Just gonna bring that along the brow bone. 
You guys, I really wanted to put falsies on with this look. I rarely put on false lashes, but I really thought it would look so pretty with like this intense pink look. But I can't find my lash glue. And I think I said that in one of my last videos that where I had false lashes. So obviously I forgot about it and that just goes to show you how often I use false lashes, which is never, I need to buy some more glue because look how gorgeous these lashes are. These are from Bad Habit and I've been wanting to use them. All right, let's work on the lower lash line. What do I wanna do? So I think I'm gonna take this brush here. This is the JH40, again from the Jaclyn Morphe collection. Another amazing detailer brush, especially for the lower lash line. I'm gonna start off with the shade Pink Problems. I'll start off by running that along the lash line. Kinda wanna lay down like a little bit of a base. So, so far as I'm doing this, I don't know if it's my brush or what, but I feel like the glitter eyes might look a little bit chunky. Like I said though, I'm not super used to using that these or this formula, so I'll have to play with it a little bit more before I give you my final thoughts on it. I do think it's really pretty and I think it's beautiful. I really like the glittery and like the metallic shine that I get from it. So I'll have to play with that more. I think I'm gonna go ahead and dip into February. Just kind of try to just enhance this just a little bit more. There we go. And I think I might stop there. Now I am kind of really smoking this out on the lower lash line and really making sure that it's blended out. I'm just debating, do I wanna put eyeliner on with this look? We might. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put on some liner, put on some mascara, and I will be right back with you guys. So I have zoomed you out just a bit so that we can focus on the last parts of this video, which is the blush and the lip kits. So I finished off the eye look with a little bit of black liner in the waterline, and I actually went in, and I thought this would be kind of fun since I didn't have my falsy glue to go in with the ColourPop. This is the Left on Red Red Mascara. And I think that it actually looks really cool with this look. It just kind of makes it pop just a little bit more. I just thought it would be fun because it's like a Valentine's Day look, so I really liked it. But I did use black mascara on the bottom lashes. I used the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Extensions by Lash Blast on the lower lash line. Let's go ahead and move on. Let's start with the blush here. Again, this is in the shade Crush. I showed you guys before. What brush do I want to use here? I'm gonna take this guy here. This is a Luxie Tapered Highlight brush, but I'm gonna use it for blush. Let's go ahead and dip in. Just hit the apples of the cheeks. Now the one thing that I really like about her new blush formula is that it is buildable, super blendable, and looks stunning. This is such a pretty color. I really like how it's going on. Actually putting it right over my highlighter. I used the Physicians Formula Butter Collection, the limited edition palette that they came out with last summer. I can't remember what the name of the shade is, but it's like super pink and glittery. Like when you first put it on, it's like, okay, I need to tone this down a bit. But then when you let it sit into your skin, those highlighters are gorgeous. So yeah, this blush is really simple, really easy, and a really, really beautiful color. And I think it really complements the shadow and everything else on my face. So this is a hit for me. I knew it would be. I really like the blush first impressions. All right, last but not least, let's move on to the lip kits. So like I said, I think I wanted to use, which one is it, the Love Set. Now her matte formula is a bit on the dry side. However, with all matte lipsticks, I always put down a layer of chapstick first, some sort of hydrating balm, rub that in. It does feel a little bit slippy at first when you're putting on like the lip liner, but it'll work out. I do this all the time. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the liner. This doesn't have a specific name on it or anything, so. Her lip liner formula is fantastic. Guys, I'm a lip liner junkie in this shade on its own. If you wanted to just do something like this, fill in your lips totally and then put the gloss on top. That's another way of using this kit. You can use the gloss alone, use the lipstick by itself, use the liner by itself. They're really versatile. And for me, I think to get the three products in here is a pretty good deal. So let's go ahead. Oh, I almost went in right with the gloss. See what I'm used to? Let's go ahead and take the lipstick in the shade Wish You Were Here. Favorite Incubus song ever is Wish You Were Here. One thing I do like about Kylie's lip kits, and I don't know if she's always done this, I like that the liners now are slightly darker than the lipstick. I feel like it just gives your lips a little bit more volume and a little bit more poutiness. You smell like cake batter. This lipstick set, this shade, 
is gorgeous. I am in love. Now maybe possibly the more nude lip kit would have maybe been a little bit more complimentary to this look, but I still think it looks really beautiful together. I don't have any issues with it. So let's go ahead and put on some of the gloss. Again, this is the one that came in the kit. This is in the shade Sweet. Oh yeah, see that goes together really, really well. I think glossy lips, you guys, are kind of the thing for 2019. I think matte lipsticks might be taking a back seat. One thing I like about her gloss formula is that it's so super shiny and glossy without feeling sticky in any way, shape, or form. It doesn't move around the lip color. It doesn't disrupt it or make it patchy. It just works. My only thing with lip gloss and putting it on top of lipstick is when this happens. I cannot stand that, but I just wipe it off. So no big deal. It doesn't, you know, ruin the lip gloss or anything. I think that this lip kit, gorgeous. Right. So let's go ahead and talk about final thoughts. I'm gonna start with the blush, quick and easy, loved it. I think the color is stunning, blended out super easily, very buildable. If you don't like super like stark, pigmented, harsh blushes or bronzers, check out her blush and bronzer formula. I am wearing the bronzer in the shade Tequila Tan and I absolutely love it. The one thing I will say that's really, really good about these is that they are buildable. You're not gonna end up in a situation where you're putting on blush or bronzer or anything like that and it's just gonna be too harsh and unblendable. These are very blendable. This color is so flattering, so soft, so beautiful. It's like a mix between kind of like maybe like a corally shade, I would say. It's a little bit warm, but also has that nice hint of pink rosiness to it. So it's right in the middle and I think it's gorgeous. I really, really enjoy it. Obviously the lip kit was a hit. Super opaque, really easy to use. Loved the lip liner shade with the lipstick in this one. Again, this was the love set. This is the one that I tried on. I absolutely love it. So I would say, honestly, they're all gonna be a hit. Love her liquid lipsticks. The palette I really, really, really did enjoy. I do need to dip more into these up here because again, from what I've heard is that they're not very impressive. But again, like I said, when you get this powder, if you ordered it, I do truly believe that these are a little bit more like toppers. If you want to enhance them, get them wet. In fact, speaking of that, let's try that. I'm just gonna pick up the shade Romance on my finger here and I'm gonna spray it and we're gonna see how it swatches. Let's just go right here. Look how insanely reflective that is if you get it wet. Let's try another shade. Kinda classy. This gold shade up here is the one that I heard was like the most disappointing. So I'm gonna try that one. Pick some up on the back of my finger here, right here. Spray it with some of the Milani Make It Last setting spray. Swatch it right below. There you go. So there actually is some nice micro reflex of glitter in this one. So yeah, I think that if you get your brush a little bit wet, always dip into the product first, get it wet, and then put it on the lid. I don't see any issues with these metallics at all as far as a swatch. So for me, for the shades, the color story in this palette, the mirror, the packaging, I'm gonna say it's worth it. I've been a huge fan of her eyeshadow formula before, so I think that this one doesn't disappoint. And to be totally honest with you, I think that it's just as good as the other palettes. The glitter eyes, this is the Roses Are Red shade, and I also have it swatched right here, and this is what I have on my lids. I think that this is really beautiful. I do need to play with it more, though, and work on my application. I don't see that it's breaking up on my eyes at all, so I think that it looks pretty good. It looks a little bit spotty and patchy, but again, I don't know if that's user error, so I'm gonna have to update you guys on this one and let you know what I think. Um, comment down below if you you've tried this formula for her. I think she's had other ones like this. Correct me if I'm wrong, but let me know if you picked that up regardless and the best ways to apply it and give me some tips or just tips in general for liquid shadows because I'm not super experienced with them. Overall, I really, really like this entire collection. I think that the lip kits are beautiful. I loved the blush, loved the shadows. I just think that it was a really good executed collection. And God, this lip, I can't stop looking in the mirror because this lip color, is so, so beautiful. I can see my wear, see myself wearing this lip color all the time. I absolutely love it. Let's go ahead and move on to the surprise. So the reason why I didn't swatch the other kits for you guys is because I actually wanna give them away. So I'm gonna be giving away the Soulmate set and the Forever set. So the Soulmate one is the one that comes with the beautiful red. So you're gonna get the liquid lipstick, the liner, and the gloss. These are brand new. I never swatched them, never used them. And then I also have the Forever set, which is the beautiful, 
beautiful nude set. So there'll be two winners. Someone will win the forever set. Someone will win the soulmate, soulmate set. The way to enter, I'm gonna put an email in the description box down below with all of the rules for entry. Obviously you have to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought about the collection. Be subscribed to my channel and follow me on Instagram. And I'll put my Instagram name down here and I will email the winner. So you will submit your entry. You don't have to do anything special. All you have to do in the description or the subject line is just put Kylie giveaway. That way I know that you're entering the giveaway. And then in the body of the email, let me know which set you want if you're interested in the forever set or the soulmate set. So the red, or the nude shade, just let me know which set it is that you would like to win. I will pick a winner here in a couple days. I'm not gonna draw this one out too far and make you guys wait. I'll pick a winner in probably like 48 hours or something like that from the time that this video is posted. So, and then obviously I will let you guys know when the winner has been drawn on Instagram so that you guys know to check your email. I had some problems in the last giveaway where I wasn't getting a response. No one's fault, you know, sometimes things go to spam. People were busy, it was around the holidays, but I really, really, really wanna make sure that the winner is notified and is able to respond. So I'm gonna say, on Instagram, in my Instagram stories in 48 hours, winners have been emailed. That way you know to check your email and to respond. There you guys have it. Again, I know that was kind of a mouthful. Still simple, like I said, just follow the instructions in the description box below to enter and I will pick a winner in two days. If you like this video, of course, give it a huge thumbs up. Be sure you're subscribed to my channel before you go. Hit that bell button and most importantly, share this video with your friends and family if you enjoy it, if you enjoy my content. That is the ultimate way to support my channel. I love you guys so, so much. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. It's going to be an anti-haul. I haven't filmed one of those in a while, but it's going to be fun. Love you guys, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye!